Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I'm back again with another very exciting and very informative tutorial. So, in this tutorial we are going to look at one of the most important steps in resource estimation or block modeling, which is actually drill hole compositing that I see a lot of, you know, junior geologists that skip that step and think it is not really that important but it is an important step that you need to actually do before doing any block modeling or resource estimation now we are going to look at drill hole compositing in surpack and uh we will try to cover the same steps in different softwares like uh we did that in in vulcan i believe we, we can do that also in Leapfrog and in Micromine. I'll try to make uh, tutorials on these packages soon. Please let me know if you're interested in different packages or you want to see other things uh, in the comments below. Now, before I start this tutorial, um, I just want to mention a couple of things. The first thing is if you guys are interested in how you know drill hole compositing works or why is it really important and so on so i don't want to get into a lot of details but here is a free article that in in uh my blog you can see that i've got a couple of articles here i'm gonna try to be uh more active in the blog you can go to mining-geologist.com and you can you know read a couple of you know articles in here that this is why drill hole compositing before resource estimation is important you can go to here and see what is this exactly it's really uh you know not that long uh, article but it will help you to understand why this is really important and explain things in detail and this is actually what i'm doing with the blog i'm going to try and uh make you know digestible uh, articles that you can read uh, you know in a couple of minutes and understand you know some concepts about geology mining or whatever it is now uh, some few other things I want to mention so the second thing is this is actually if you want to learn uh, things about uh, mining engineering geology or whatsoever you you can see that I have courses and you can go and get these courses. So uh, this is my uh, website here, geotrainings.com. And you can see that we've got a plenty of courses here and we're adding more. So you can go and, uh, you know, enroll in whatever course you're interested in. we got, you know, like pit design, damp design, geological modeling in different packages, cartography, query design, implicit modeling, and so on. So check them out. If you're interested, uh, you can go and take uh, one of these courses. The second thing, this is my page. I have like 16,000 followers on Facebook and I share like good things on Facebook. Make sure to uh, like the page and follow me on Facebook for more, you know, useful free content. Now, uh, the obvious thing, it's YouTube. I have a YouTube channel. Now, one thing to note is I've noticed that 80% of the people who are actually uh, watching my videos are not subscribers so if you're interested in mining, uh, GIS and cartography, things related to geology, GIS and stuff like that, mining packages, make sure to subscribe because this is what this channel is all about. Okay so and uh, the content that I publish in here is actually all based on your questions whether they are on Facebook or uh, YouTube or any other places so please uh, let me know what you guys actually need and I'll make a tutorial about that or even a course if you want just one thing here so uh, if you want to support me if you want to if you want me to share more content on stuff like that you know it's free to go and subscribe and like my videos this is really going to encourage me to make more videos and help more people. Okay, another thing that uh, it's not a request, but if you think that what I'm doing needs to be supported, then you got that. If you go to patreon.com and mining geologist, you'll get this page here. You can support me 
like with one dollar or like three dollar or if you are you know uh, kind enough or you want to support me with five dollars a month that would be that would be great and I really appreciate that and you uh, you will get a value out of that because I'm gonna be publishing you know some uh, uh, you know uh, private content some VIP content on patreon that only you know people who are supporting me will get access to that and uh, that's it so let's not waste your time and let's get into this so the first thing before we start drill hole compositing we need to have a drill hole database ready and we need to open that so this is the drill hole database that we have created you can go and check the uh, how to create a geological database or a drill hole database inside Serpac. I already have a free video there if you don't want to purchase the Serpac course which I will put in the link in the description below so you can go and open this uh, database and uh, after we have a database opened you can see that we have it in here so uh, we can go and display the uh, drill holes if you want to and these are the drill holes we covered how to visualize them with different you know uh, colors based on the geology uh, or whatever we want so now if we need to do uh, compositing we need to change the profile we already covered in the the yellow video what is actually the profile so we can go and check that out so here if we right click in an empty place here and we go to profiles and we need the geology database profile okay then you can see that we have different menus in here uh, and we have a lot of things so let's go and get rid of the uh, the the drill holes in here and if we need to go we need to go to the composite in here and you can see that we have a bunch of uh, methods to do drill hole compositing but we are going to do the most obvious one and the most used one which is the downhole compositing okay so we click on downhole compositing and now we need to specify the location which is basically uh, the we need to specify the name of the uh, the string that's gonna uh, be created for the composited data so let's call this uh, drill hole maybe compositing compositing and then we can add probably uh, one which is going to be the ID number so we can leave that uh, by default if you want so the composite length so if you go and read the article so uh, this is basically what we do let me just try to summarize that for you what is actually compositing so now if we go to the field and we do some uh, drill holes and we're taking some samples so the samples usually they don't have like equal length so you'll have like a sample of two meters a sample of a half a meter and a sample of like let's say one meter and so on so they are not they don't have equal uh you know intervals so that's not actually good because later on when we are going to do block modeling and uh or maybe uh, geostatistics uh you will be using values let's say great values that one of them is for like a one meter one meter length and one of them is like for two meter and so on so so this is not going to generate some accurate results so what we need to do is we need to create some new intervals that they are equal intervals and we uh, you know somehow add some weights to the grades and assign them to the new intervals so this is actually what's going to happen in the background and the composite length is what are these new intervals that uh, the length of these new intervals that you want to create so some people might ask how to choose this so the best way to choose this is you can go and display uh, a histogram of the current intervals of the different samples and take a look at what is actually the uh, the the interval that that it, you know it is actually in the mo you know in most of the samples. So let's say if you have an, a histogram and you can see that most of the samples are let's say one meter. They have a one meter length. So that's 
you know, it could be that value is the one that you, you can use in here. So that that's one way of doing this. But of course, it depends on the compositing type that you want to do. We're talking about length in here, but there, if you can see here, we got a plenty of them. So it really depends on what are you, uh, what do you want to do with this. So okay, so you can see that we have determined composite by length. Uh, uh, composite length by fixed length or best fit so it, it it is obvious so fixed length is actually fixed length so it is what you define here and best fit which is uh, try to fit uh, the the existing you know uh, interval that you have in that drill hole and this is the minimum uh, percentage of samples to be included for the for now we have like it needs to have like at least 75 percent so no selection, which, me, which means that we're going to use all the different drill holes. You can uh, use uh, different uh, zones, or you can use this one if you have like uh, zones that we have from to. Uh, so you can try uh, if you have like different um, zones that you want to just you know use compositing uh, for this one and a different one for the other one. You can you know play around with these to see how it actually works. For the moment, you're gonna we're going to use with no selection, and the table name in our case uh, it's gonna display in here the two different uh, interval tables that we have. We have the two different uh, tables that have the from two intervals. We have the geology and the sample. Of course, we're not gonna do compositing with geology since uh, we don't have like numeric values. So we are going to use the sample. Now, what is actually the uh, attribute that you're going to composite you'll find that in here this is all the different attributes that exist in this sample table in our case we are interested in the gold attribute and you have optional weighting fields in here that you can use you can choose the field name and the default values and you know the limit whatever in here so it is actually optional we're not going to use that in our case click on apply and if you want to assign some constraints you can do that in here but we're not going to do that for the moment let's click on apply and wait for that you can see now that we have a new string generated in here and we can go and display that and this is how funny it looks inside uh, Serpac these are basically you can see the vertical lines there these are actually the uh, drill holes and we have a bunch of strings between them. I don't know why Serpac actually actually creates such a thing, but this is how drill hole compositing works in Serpac. Now later on, you're going to use the string here to do you know um, interpolation, whether it is IDW or you can do some Jew statistics or whatever. If you're interested in more details and how we just you know create solids. Uh, digitized sections and stuff like that go and check the course in the description below and there will be like a, a promo um, running so you will benefit from a low price for this course and like I said check out my uh, website geotrainings.com for more courses and I will be uh, publishing you know a couple of more videos about how to do drill hole compositing in uh, Microminer and Leapfrog soon. Please let me know if you're interested in other things and I'll make sure to make tutorials about these on YouTube. And uh, that's it for this one and see you in the next tutorial.